Welcome to Lovebro Department of Physics. Let me introduce myself. I'm Alexander Zagoskin, the head of the department. I teach quantum computing to the third year students and methods, philosophy, and frontiers of physical science to the first year. First topic is the cutting edge of modern research, and the other is given the proper idea of what physics is, what physics does, and what role it played and is playing and will play in the development of human civilization. My research is mostly in the fields of quantum mesoscopic physics and quantum engineering. Again, very interesting areas. And I wrote a book on this subject and few other books as well, including even a popular science book on quantum mechanics, which does contain quite a lot of formulas, I'm afraid. I did also found the company D-Wave Systems. This company was the first to produce commercially a quantum computing device. And the company keeps producing them, improving, and they are being used to solve real-world problems. Just to think, this particular device, which contained measly 128 qubits, was produced already 12 years ago. Now, you know, you can make devices with uh, thousands of uh, quantum bits. And that's me. You can contact me at uh, this uh, email if you have any questions, and you're very welcome to ask them. So, why study physics? Physics is a really fascinating subject about the world. And it was studied and developed by many, many people all over the world for many years, even before such a subject as physics became a separate science. And physics also gives you an opportunity to use your time very efficiently. For example, Sir Isaac Newton had to spend a lot of time in the country because of the plague. So he spent this time on developing the system of the world, discovering the law of gravity, developing calculus and classical mechanics. And now on our campus we have the direct descendant of the very apple tree, which was so instrumental in his great achievement. Right here you see the dean of the School of Science, Professor Eberlein, who is a physicist, in the center planting this tree. So now we have everything we need to achieve greatness right here on campus. So what physics is about? If you read the dictionary definition, you see that it deals with the fundamental laws of the material universe. For some reason it says that uh, it concerns with the properties of non-living matter and energy, so far as they are not dealt with by chemistry or biology. Here we need to make a little correction. You see, physics is like a foundation. So, no matter whether you are working in biology or chemistry, geology, climate science, medicine, law, arts, nothing there Whatever you do there, it will always follow the laws of physics. I repeat, everything in chemistry, biology, etc., etc., always follows the laws of physics. So they are very important laws which have no exceptions and require no enforcement. They just are. 
So it is very important and useful to learn about them. And uh, there are purely practical reasons. My senior colleague at D-Wave Systems and the mentor, Haig Ferris, who launched a large number of successful companies, used to say that physicists by training are the best entrepreneurs and the best employees simply because we are trained to enjoy solving problems and we know how to do this and going on to this practicality future jobs market will require lots and lots of people with exactly the knowledge and skills and drive all the features that are being developed when you're studying physics so this is also a very optimistic thought now speaking of why study physics at Labora well we have pretty good press I would say good rank in the tables from the point of view of how we teach how our students feel you see we are good at student satisfaction and the university invested a lot of money and a lot of effort to develop new STEM lab teaching facilities and also of course the department was refurbished thoroughly and so on and so forth this is something worth seeing and also the view from our department is spectacular as well and last but not least when you are a trained physicist no matter where you go it is very likely that you will have a good starting salary so again this is a good way on of investing your time and your uh, money to become a holder of the physics degree here at Lovebird. Now, you can meet some of our researchers. We are not a big department, under 30 staff. So, you will have well, not the opportunity, you will certainly meet all your teachers and everybody in the department. We have the open doors policy so you can come and ask questions and uh, mostly receive answers. Here you can find on our website videos our researchers telling what they are doing and we do quite interesting things and it is important that you can properly teach only when you practice what you are doing what you are teaching so what are we doing investigate and develop materials and structures novel materials Polaron superconductivity and molecular electronics, uh, quantum computing and quantum engineering. So this is very cutting edge. Spintronics. Developing quantum limited and uh, non-quantum limited detectors for imaging, for example in medical science, and for astrophysics. Develop devices for artificial intelligence including quantum devices for these purposes applications to biophysics so here we are doing the very best the most interesting stuff that physics is involved in here are some nice pictures from our labs devices we are being we are making and investigating 
new phenomena. Well, you know, superconductors, they were discovered over 100 years ago and still not everything is understood, especially with high temperature superconductors. Graphene was discovered, well, more recently, but still plenty of stuff is not quite well understood. So, there is huge field of development here and the methods we are using. Theoretical methods, for example, are among the most advanced. You will not find more advanced theoretical methods when you are, say, investigating uh, Higgs bosons. When you are dealing with this kind of problems here, you need as heavy well, theoretical equipment as you can get. So, for example, one of our recently uh, arriving researchers, Dr. Bagby, develops new imaging systems which would allow improved, efficient way of uh, taking medical images in the process of a surgery, for example. And, of course, uh, all of this has uh, other applications in technology, in uh, for example, uh, making uh, making safe nuclear sites. Well, physics is like this. Anything you do in physics usually can be used in many different and very, very uh, necessary ways. Another researcher, Dr. Bonnergy, working in particular on uh, spintronics and in addition to our own research uh, equipment he is using other people's equipment just together with his collaborators for example like this advanced light source in Berkeley labs in the States these are kind of fundamental equipment where you have to book your access because uh, well, this uh, is something extremely powerful, which you don't use every day. But when you need it, you must have access to it. And when our researchers need access, they get access. So why study physics at Lumber? All of this was about um, research. Well, we are good at teaching. Uh, as you saw in the previous slide, we are junior practitioners. This is a special program of Institute of Physics on Equality. We are, uh, we, we are part of Athena Swan program. We are high on uh, university ranking lists, a very high student satisfaction, and so on and so forth this accolades and you will see some of them self-explanatory accolades in the end of this uh, presentation but what is also important probably most important what gives us such high positions is that our teaching is led by research we make sure that you are being taught by the people who actually know hands-on what they are teaching about. So all our stuff does original research, top quality. All our students do serious projects, you can see. And quite a number of students are getting published in peer-reviewed serious journals even before they get their degree and we, there is this placement program I will say a few words about this later which allows you if you wish to go to this kind of very interesting research labs like uh, say Rutherford Appleton laboratory in the UK so that you would have access to absolutely 
top level equipment and you will see how it works and see the people who are using it so this is pretty interesting and this is what uh, actually leads and illuminates all the teaching you will be getting of course also our degree gives you professional recognition you can become a member of the Institute of Physics and you can get the professional registration like for example registered scientist or certified physicist so that it's not a question of somebody believing what you are telling about yourself this is a professional accreditation we have very serious institutional support for students every student has a personal tutor somebody you can go to and ask questions and ask for help and ask for advice Everything. we have peer assisted learning students helping other students we have open door policy so that you can knock on any door and come in unless your professor or other uh, faculty member is busy at the moment you will get your time you can discuss things you can ask questions and everything will be done uh, to support you and as I said the university has very good institutional support network especially handy in this uh, pretty challenging times now speaking of placements placement is an important thing too it gives you an opportunity to see whether you like say to work in the industry or in a research lab or somewhere else well of course also you can go to another university if you wish abroad but the main advantages are still if you try your yourself in something non university uh, environment this will help you better understand what you like and what you don't like about say being in the academia versus the industry and so on this will give you important experience something to put in your resume and more important to have in your head it gives you self-confidence it gives you useful connections useful contact somebody who can actually give you some direction provide you with the reference all the sort of things which are very important when you are looking for your nice first job and as I said the most important thing it allows you to better understand yourself so on our website you will see some testimonials from our students you can read them in detail of course there and you will see the the reasons why our students like lumber physics and what are the perspectives from that point of view well I didn't dwell on this here of course but Labra is also a nice place to live to socialize to have fun but you will read about this in the students testimonials and here are some self-explanatory accolades for the university explaining why it is so exciting and so useful in the end to study here and so pleasant as well ours is a really beautiful campus and our department is really welcoming department so please come and see it for yourselves 
If you have any questions, please contact us during this uh, question and answer session online or send an email to me. Thank you.